All right, we got a cedar. We're gonna just hope and pray. By the way, this says sixty horsepower. We're hoping and praying. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a save. Let's take a save. Hope and fucking pray that this thing can be pulled by my tractor, and it can be pulled uphill. Hope and, can can I get your belief in the chat, please? Mark doesn't know what he's doing, so he would not know whether or not to make this mis or to make this mistake. I know what we're doing. <laughs> And so I know that this is potentially a mistake, but we're buying it anyways. We need to buy some seed. I think one thing of seed would be enough. I think we have fertilizer at the thing. This thing will also fertilize, I believe. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. I'm looking to get a PhD soon, assuming it stands for Pretty Hot Dad. <laughs> so I gotta scroll up on a comment real quick. Have you ever played Soma? It's a sci-fi horror game, but it asks an important question. I have not, uh, King of Kilograms. However, that's because I don't play horror games. Right, chat? Fluvia says I definitely shouldn't be in conversations like these. I'm a programmer and it's all I do. I do try to practice critical thinking better, and I wish I was good at it. To me, Pup Pluvio, you've just described why exactly you should be in this conversation. Because you wish you were good at it, and you try to do better. That's a great reason to be in this conversation. Absolutely. Some of these nuts, by the way. I don't play horror games. Look at this, baby. Look at how wide this thing is. And it's pulling. Oh, baby. Gee! Oh, fuck. Stay on there. We're going to do canola when we get over there. Maybe we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Just make a new field and do wheat. Let me think through it real quick. Canola is just good for selling. Um, I think you can also make uh, straw from it. Um, I don't know if this harvester will drop a swath of straw. Wheat is good for chickens, which is great because eggs are one of the biggest money makers in this whole goddamn game. Uh-oh. Just set it on me. Nope. So maybe I should just do all wheat tomorrow. Is there any reason not to do canola? Maybe there's no reason. Nobody tell him? Wait, what did I do wrong? He guess as I've been learning more as I've been in this community, it's at least changed the way I've approached playing games. Well, that's good. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is I got an A in critical thinking last semester. I can name so many fallacies. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Nobody tell him? What do you mean? This sack is more unstable than Mark's marriage. If it was exactly as stable as my marriage, that means that it would look solid as a rock for five straight years and then out of absolutely nowhere, it would blindside me and fall off. Listen, did I think that the marriage was good for five straight years directly before it imploded? Yes. Did I go to the strip club, club regularly with my buds? Absolutely yes. Did I, there, under the convincing of some friends, mix vodka and milk? Yes. Did I fall into a terrible hole of doing whatever drugs were set before me there? Yes. It was so good until it was so not good. There's milk and vodka at strip clubs. You have to bring your own milk, but yeah. Normal husband things. Uh, AJ Weller, thanks for the follow. Uh, hope you're doing well today. What you're saying is that this is your fault, Mark? No, what I'm saying is I was blindsided out of nowhere, and it's definitely not my fault. BYOM, bring your own milk. You've never been to a BYOM strip club? 
Meg, I think Pexy said the same thing. <laughs> was it Pexy? Who said that? Uh, it was Andrew, I think, who said that. It's almost vodka and milk. I love that Megan is spending her day off watching me talk about is art art and vodka and milk. God bless you, Megan. Can't say I've been to a strip club. Can I tell you a little secret? Neither have, neither have I. That's Ryan speaking. Mark has been to a lot. This shit is too wide for my uh, for my road. Should we do weed or should we do canola? What do we think, chat? Do we want to go chickens? What do you think, chat? Weed or canola? Wheat means chickens, canola means selling it. I think we want I think we want wheat. What do you guys think though? Do weed? I can't, I can't. Well, maybe there's a mod for that, actually. Maybe there's a mod for that. Let me see if there's a mod for growing mar marijuana. Could be. All right, so if we're doing wheat, we're selling that tomorrow. Or we're doing that tomorrow. This is going to be so few passes. <laughs> Look at this tiny fucking field. <laughs> can you afford chickens? For $4,500, I can get uh, some chickens. This field is smaller than the field I started with. That's okay. We can either, uh, we can either expand it across or we can uh, do other things with it eventually. Let's get Queensley some food. Queensley's all the way over there. I think we'll go to bed. Uh, Florian, thanks for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we'll do wheat tomorrow. Uh, hey, that's one year done. Wait, wait, we should come up with a way to celebrate. That's one year done in the, uh, in the old. Uh, on the old farm. Are we succeeding? Absolutely not. However, I feel like we should, we should, uh, I feel like we should celebrate in some way. You only have one dog per farm. All right. Fuck you. Oh, I got an idea. Let's just do another one of these. Oh, I got an idea. We're going to build one of these per year so that we have a, uh, so that we have a light and also something to run into. Oh my God. Barn cat mod. You guys keep, I, I keep forgetting barn cat mod. Let's add this here. That marks the start of year two. We've got light here, light there, and we'll we'll keep the the lights running. I'm done. Weed or canola? People keep voting for weed. Why do you? <laughs> I made the poll too long. Did you make a five minute poll? <laughs> That's great. All right. Um, we need to go grab some uh, some fertilizer. I think this will work. I think solid fertilizer. Oh god, did I grab the wrong thing? Oh, there's more seeds right there. Barn cat should be called villain. Why is that? Make Gail disappear and use her house as a greenhouse. Hey Gail, can you see this? Got something for you right here. Two somethings for you. Wait, sorry, I forgot something in my pocket. Everyone needs a, uh, every story needs a protagonist, or sorry, an antagonist. Oh my God, this is gonna fertilize as we go, which is so exciting. All right, let's do it. Oh, 
Oh my god, please pull. Please pull. Please pull. We're going uphill. This is gonna be the real test. You guys ready? There's no way. This should not be pulling. I have not I do not have 60 horsepower. Is that working? Let's fucking go. Let's fucking grow, go. We can't get chickens until next year because this weed is going to take forever. But hopefully this is enough to grow us, to keep us some chickens for a little bit. Getting excited about fertilizing? Absolutely. Uh-oh, the hill's getting harder. Sorry, we have to do all of our field work in a first-person view because uh, it's funny to see the mistakes. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Keep going. Keep going. You're going four miles an hour? Now I'm going one. I have Dylan Dixon Dallas stuck in my head, and it's probably going to be stuck in there the whole massage. Megan's going to massage, and she's going to have... He's bouncing off my booty cheeks. He loves the way I ride. I love the way he rides. All right, now we're going downhill. We'll be much faster. Meg's going to Feet Fetish Spa? That's crazy. Okay, I can't do it. I got to do it this way. <laughs> I got to do it this way. I got to be able to see shit. Hi, Jeff. How's it going? Nine miles an hour on the downhill, baby. Look at this. This is a fantastic cedar. Holy shit. The case. This is a dumb question I should know the answer to. Is Case International Harvester? Is that the same name? Is that the same uh, thing? I don't know the answer to that. That texture is satisfying. It's so satisfying. Cedar? I hardly even know her. Plower? I did for five years thinking everything was fine. How's Mark doing? Mark's doing great. Mark's been zoned out. Ryan's been zoned in. Guys, our five minute poll ended up with weed. Love that. Does Mark go to therapy? There's no way. Mark scoffs at therapy. But here's the deal. Mark is out here to get better. And so Mark is trying to remember that sometimes you have to try new things in order to get new outcomes. <sighs> Maybe therapy is what I need. Nah, there's no fucking way. I ain't no, ain't no Nancy boy. No way. I cannot go uphill here. This, oh, we're doing it. Oh, two miles an hour. Oh, oh. Therapy is for the week. That's Mark. Yeah. Therapy? Sorry, I already waste my money. <laughs> One mile an hour. I can't wait till we get a new tractor. Week and Wither says we found out we're having a boy yesterday. June 4th is the due date. Hey, we're going to be pretty close. Our due date is late May, so we're going to be pretty dang close. Mark goes to that white lawn chair at 3 a.m. Sad drunk therapy. <laughs> therapy? You mean when I call my bros for a couple games of Fortnite? Oh, just kidding. I had to get off Fortnite. They don't have internet out here. Therapy? $400 an hour. Saying it do be like that sometimes? Zero dollars. I'm sorry. Evo is... is Oh, that's just barely not going to fit, and that's going to be really annoying. Excuse me? Why did it raise? Yeah, to be absolutely clear.
therapy's great. It's just that Mark is an idiot. Oh, hello. Game recommendations inside and cocoon. Also, Lil in the heart. Little in the heart. I've never heard of that. Oh my god, it's stopping. Why is it stopping? Working? Let's hope and pray this is working. Hi, Halo. Thank you so much for the sub. Thanks very much. Oh, it's fertilized once? Because plowing it is fertilizing it. Mmm. Maybe? Why is it fertilized once? Thank you, Halo. How you doing? Inside in Cancun. I love it. Oh my god, we're moving so slow. Cocoon's a good short one. Ryan, can I request a song? Uh, we're not doing song requests right now, unfortunately. We might do them tomorrow, depending on if I get some things figured out, but... What's your song, though? I'm not going to play it, but I'll... It is what it is. It is what it is. Jeff says I actually started going to therapy recently for the first time. I'm pretty optimistic about it. Let's go, Jeff. That's fantastic. Good stuff. Uh, proud of you. I am starting to try and figure out what exactly, if I'm going to be going to therapy um, particularly soon or not. I w would kind of like to, but it is, the, you know what the biggest problem with therapy is always? <laughs> Getting it set up. Every time. Did I miss a little bit there? Maybe? Hell yeah, Jeff. Hi, yo yo, how's it going? Missed a spot? I hope not. It's just, I, th I don't think I did. Neanderthal bone flute music. And is eight minutes long. You know what, Matt? We're not doing requests, but for that, sure. What? The two things I've, I've, I've searched on Spotify today are bouncing off my booty cheeks and Neanderthal bone flute. Is it on Spotify? Music. Oh, it's on YouTube. I can't do that because then it then it uh, then it copyrights. If it's on Spotify, I can make it work. But all right, never mind. We're not doing song requests. I closed I closed the request again. Hmm. Sorry. Neanderthal bone flute music, eight minutes long. I'm sorry, did we hit something, or has my tractor just decided to? To quit for the day. Oh, I'm sorry. I was unaware that we could just give up whenever we wanted to. What are you doing? I, I, I was not under the impression we could just give up when things get hard. What's this? What's this shit doing? It's historical. It's not copyrighted. Oh, it's probably the stump for the tractor. Yep. That's fine. You know the drill. I got to be careful. You know what? We're going to be smart about this. We're going around and we're coming back. Oh, no, Oliver. I don't want any songs. Sorry. No song request. I don't speak Spanish, but apparently socks spelled out. Sounded like S. S O C K S. What does that mean in Spanish? S O C K S? You can play my Neanderthal bone flute if you know what I mean. What the fuck am I reading in chat? It is what it is. Oh. S-O-K. 
CS. It is what it is. That's great. Also, I can't overlook this comment from Carly who said, also, I give up all the time. Right, Mark is definitely the type to to believe that giving up is like the uh, the first sign to of, of weakness, though, for sure. For sure. All right, we got that shit planted. I think it also might be September. It's uh, one month until harvest, baby. Hell yeah. So here's the next question. If we harvest this next time, we can also make this be wheat. We can just do wheat everything. That'd be nice. Okay. So maybe we'll keep this wheat over here. The cedar over here. And get wheat in it next time. It's super early in the morning, but here's the thing. Tomorrow we're going to harvest, and we're going to need a trailer to to uh, hold our harvest. So we got to start thinking about what that's going to be. This holds 1.6 meters cubed. Uh, 100% uh, real. Thank you for the follow. What's Mark's go-to karaoke song? Has that been decided yet? Has that been decided? Um, honky tonk, but donkey donk. Maybe. No way, Mark is using a uh, uh, metric units. You know what? That's a great point. I think I have to use it. Um, it's five o'clock somewhere. To be clear, Mark has it set for dollars, miles, Fahrenheit, and acres. But meters cubed is still a... So here's the question. This trailer, we're going to need to pull it with the wagon. All of these are pulled by the, by the tractor, I should say. Three meters cubed, 1.6 meters cubed. You're telling me this has a lot more? That seems broken. Save a horse, ride a cowboy. Oh my God, Mark definitely plays that on the way out here. Now, I'm not very intelligent, but this says three meters cubed, and this says. 3,150 meters cubed. You're telling me this one holds one one thousandth of what this one holds? There's no fucking way. I hope there's at least one Shania Twain song on his karaoke list. I'm going out tonight. I'm feeling all right. Gonna let it. No, the thing that happens when uh, uh, Mark hears Shania Twain is he bursts into tears because uh, Shania reminds him, because uh, 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 Crystal listened to Shania. I'm going out tonight. I'm feeling all right. Gonna let it. Eh, eh, eh. I don't know the words. <laughs> I want to think about being a woman. Um... You know what? Let's go down one tree so that we can uh, afford a trailer. Go from there. Three K meters. Cubed is three million liters. That doesn't sound right. I think it's a. I think it's a uh, typo. I agree. 
I agree. Oh, Jesus Christ. Too many trees. Too many trees. I think my pet shrimp are horny. They're going wild in there. You know what you have to do, Oliver. Just kidding. I have no idea what you have to do about that. You know what that means. What else does Mark like for karaoke? I was really hoping we were going to have a song suggestion stream, but I'm wanting to suggest she thinks my tractor's sexy. She thinks my tractor's sexy. Why, why, why have a song request stream when you can just do a, you can just have Mar have me sing it in karaoke? <laughs> It really turns around. He's always staring at me. Said you can take a ride on my big green tractor. Make it go slow, make it go faster. Oh, Meg. That is such a good one for Mark. Absolutely. Mark and his bros all when it's 3 a.m. at the at the bar, they're singing. Oh, I've got friends in low places where the whiskey drowns and the God damn it. I'm just going to play that. That's too good. I got to play that right now. Later, I've got friends. Wait, this is a six minute long version? What the fuck is that? Lampry, thank you for gifting us up to King of Kilograms for that excellent song request. Joey says, sorry if this has been asked or you've mentioned it before. Have you played Ocarina of Time? I've not. I've played only one Zelda game, which is uh, Breath of the Wild. Is this live? Next is I wish I was streaming with you just to sing these bops. I've got friends. This must be a live version. This is Mark's theme song. Mark and his friends, this is their fucking theme song. I haven't heard Garth in so long. Garth is great. Garth Brooks, George Strait. <laughs> they don't make them like that anymore. <laughs> Masses, oh fuck, the memories. The singing on Do Ro, Do Ro is so funny to me every time. Let's go. I've got friends in low places where the whiskey Drown whiskey drowns and the beer chases my blues away. A poet. Ah, uh, we just hit both those sides. Three sides. To the oasis, oh, I got friends. Place it. Hit it, Garth. Woo! Cheers. Fuck. 
fuck. To the oasis, so I've got friends. Skirt! Sing it with me, Queensley. Hi, Rosie Posey. All right, the four minute version of this song was the correct version to sing, to play. We're just gonna run with some country for now. Be warned, we're gonna play a little bit of country music while we start our first harvest tomorrow. What in the honky tonk have I walked into? Wait, hey. You know what is one of my favorite country songs? What's that country song? Hold up, I'll play it again in a second. What's that country song which is like, you'll take a left and then a right, and if you're smart, you'll come right on back to me? Or, or what's that right on back to me uh, song? Who, who the fuck is that? Somebody's going to know this in chat. I can, I, can, I can see the music video in my head. There's a person selling, like, fruit on the side of the, uh, on the, side of the road. And this girl comes in on a, on a fast, the, uh, selling turnips. Comes in in her car, and she asks for some directions. Go on down to that place and have some of her sweet tea. Pick a, a left and then a right, and that'll bring you right back home, right back here to me. Good directions. There it is. We'll play that next. She thinks my tractor's sexy. Hey. Hey. At me. Billy Currington. Thank you, Meg. Love you. <laughs> God damn. Crystal's not coming back, Mark. Don't tell me that while I'm in the middle of my feels here. My middle school crush sang that song in the talent show? It was a goddamn good song. Ten rounds with Jose Cuervo. That is a good song. <laughs> and by good, I mean funny. <laughs> All right, I'm skipping the rest of she thinks my tractor's sexy because I can't even do it. All right, we're now doing song requests, but basically you have to convince me. That's the only thing we're doing. You have to convince me, and it has to be old country. That's the song request we're doing. This is the song. That bad truck. This harvester is so slow. Ten rounds with Jose Cuervo is Mark's theme song. How old of old country? If it was popular in the year 2000, that's perfect. some of her sweet tea then a left will take you to the interstate and a right will bring you right back here to me i think we've lost nine viewers since i started singing on stream this is my this is the lesson i should learn i'll leave it to the professionals i'm gonna sit here drive my tr drive my harvester and eat my cookies
how would Mark feel about the chicks? You know the answer to that, Megan. Don't don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. You know the answer to that. Unfortunately. Courtesy of the red, white, and blue. Oh my god. I won't he would love that one, but I ain't playing it. What a song though. All right, we're going to go to sleep, and tomorrow we're harvesting. We'll bring you right back here to me. <laughs> Jeff says, how do I still remember these lyrics? Oh, shit, I haven't fed my, my sheep. Oh, God. You guys hungry? Man, I used to I used to love this song. Oh, they're fine. Okay. They're 40% of the way through their reproduction though. We should probably be buying more. We still only have this much uh wool, cotton. Hey, Pretty Lady by John Michael Montgomery. Now, who is that? What song is that? Hey, Pretty Lady by John Michael Montgomery. That sounds like a country song, but I don't know that I know it. What is it? Soybeans ready to harvest. I'll add that to the list, and uh, but I may skip it, depending on what it is. All right, Megan did have a request. What was Meg's request? Not ready to make nice. What if we did Earl? I feel like I feel like if Mark liked one song by the chicks, it would be Goodbye Earl. And that would be the most he could stomach. This is Ten Rounds with Jose Cuervo. This is a funny song. Hey pretty lady. Is this sold? Wait, I know this song. Is it sold? Is that the name of it? Two rounds of Jose Cuervo. Two rounds. <laughs> I know sold. My two left feet. And you wait. All right, let's do it. Oh, baby, it's our first harvest here on the Shit Creek's farm. Let's go. Oh. Four rounds. Uh, you better believe it's eight in the morning and Mark is drunk doing his first harvest. I've officially listened to more country music in the last hour than I have in the last 10 years. Uh, no swath on soybeans. God, rounds, I can't count. Oh my god. All right. How about Zach Brown? Zach Brown's a great question. Um I feel like Zach Brown is is fair game. I feel like Mark prop Oh. I feel like Mark probably uh Zach Brown is a little bit too pleasant for him, but I'll play I'll I'll, I'll think about playing some Zach Brown. Take a back road by Rodney Atkins. Ooh, what does that make me think of? What's that one song? Oh, shit. Starting to realize that the Midwest has a lot in common with the South. Is that a fair assessment? I mean, what we do have is a very large, at least where Megan and I are both from, 
we have, and, and not everyone, but Megan and I are both from very rural farming communities or like very rural communities. The Sugarland album as well. Oh my God. This song is so actually fucking great. We're on a little bit of a silly country mood right now, or else I would play something like uh, Amarillo Sky. We're already 30% full of soybean. Gunpowder and lead is pretty silly. Our country request is silly. What was it? I probably missed it. What was it? It's a meta country song. I feel like this harvester is loud as shit. Does anyone else feel that? Like if I zoom in, I can't hear the chicks. Looks like it would be loud. Yeah. You're right. We don't have a cap. It does look like it would be loud. That's a great point. It's a great point. Harvesters are allowed. Ah! I'm also not driving it very straight. Too busy eating my cookies. You know what I can't wait for? We're going to get done with this harvest. And we're going to go, first off, we're probably going to sell the soybeans, but we might not they might not be worth it for a while either way we're gonna get done and we're gonna have no money <laughs> we're gonna have truly no money soybeans are currently they sell best in july bad news it's fucking october so if we can hold on to them we'll get twice as much For a thousand liters, which is basically everything we've done so far, we could get about two thousand dollars. We know Mark doesn't have any money. So with all the missing patches in the field, did you plant that? Yep. Yeah, all those missing patches are the places I missed. Everyone in chat said seven. If you need an alternative, I'll say two. All right, this is sold by John Michael Montgomery. Oh my God, this song. What a song. I love this song. 
And by that, I mean the nostalgia. I got our next song for sure. I never thought I'd have such a good time watching someone plow a field and listen to country. <laughs> Small doses. This music makes me feel like I'm at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> great, Buster. Thank you. Thanks very much. That's great. Be at your beck and call. Small doses marked two years ago. Small doses. Huh. <laughs> hey, you heard you made a one. Give me a sign. Goodbye, Carol. Y'all have fun now. <laughs> Meg, we can't listen to Live Like You Were Dying. It'll bring the mood down so much. You and I can listen to it later in the car when we're driving. But on stream, it's it's the wrong vibe. But absolutely, you and I can listen to it later. I was already thinking that. That and Amarillo Sky. We got a fun little jaunty thing going on. My next song, uh, my, the next one I think was my recommendation. I think it's the next one I pulled up. We'll see how many of you guys have heard it. My stepdad loved the song, actually. Oh, we're 96% full. Down the altar on the Chattahoochee. Listen, how many songs do you know that can use the word hoochie-coochie? I don't even know what it means. What's a hoochie-coochie? I don't know. What's a hoochie-coochie? It, it appears in line two of this song. What are you going to rhyme with Chattahoochee? Hoochie-coochie. No fucking idea. No idea. What is a hoochie-coochie? Well, everyone keeps saying, I mean, I know what coochie means, but what's hoochie? Think it's hotter than a hoochie coochie? I'm trying to put put together the metaphor, Alan Jackson, and I don't know what it means. Don't interrupt the song, I got you. Bye, Megan. Oh, Siege, that's a good one. Listen to that. I'm sorry, what? Hoochie means whore? So line two of this song? Means hotter than a sex worker's vagina? No, no, it's a sex worker's dance. Which part, hoochie or coochie? Hoochie coochie is an American erotic dance. That's so fucking incredible. <laughs> We've pieced it together. Hoochie coochie is a uh, is an American erotic dance. That's right. I remember. I remember the uh, hey from all those nights, from all those nights I'll never remember with those friends I'll never forget. I remember the hoochie coochie. That's right. You know, that's how I met Crystal, originally. Just, never mind, that's a story for another time. <clears throat> you ever been in love? 
How'd you meet your uh, meet your partner? Well, I'll tell you that story another time. Am I starting to actually enjoy country music? Don't let this be the thing that convinces you. Because to be clear, earlier on this stream, we were talking about good country music. None of what we've listened to in the last 20 minutes really qualifies, in my opinion. But... This is Siege's recommendation. To be clear, Garth fits Garth fits the list. Crystal's off doing the hoochie coochie with some other dude, that bitch. Start of stream the philosophy of art. Stream now the hoochie coochie. Sorry in advance to any crystals in chat. Oh my god. <laughs> Can I get an exclamation crystal in the chat? That goddamn bitch. That woman, I swear to god. That backstabbing. snake of a woman the love of my life the person I thought was my soulmate I'm just imagining her hoochie coochie in for another <laughs> for another another man now and I can't <laughs> thought, I thought that was the one You're telling me this shit will hold more than this shit? Maybe it's longer. That's probably it, right? It's 4,000. We got the money for it. Can I change colors? Nope. Meg says, play boondocks. Oh, my God. All right, I have to. That's the, that's the exact right energy. Some of you guys will remember this from a, a Seven Days to Die stream a long time ago. One of my favorite clips of all time. Maybe it's longer is what Crystal said to the guy she's dancing on. Exclamation <laughs> Crystal in the chat. Ryan, I have a horrible song suggestion. Hit me with it. Thunder Rolls. And the Thunder Rolls. Can you customize the license plate? You can on a lot of stuff. I never do because it's uh, so I never look at them again. But Megan and I, without listening to the song, just from pure memory, sang this whole last song on a Seven Days to Die stream once, and uh, just harmonized on it. Oh my god. And by harmonize, that's a very liberal definition of the word. We are... We are bleeding viewers when I start playing songs like this, by the way. I just want you all to know that. In the boondocks, and I'm having a great time. No matter where I go. In the boondocks. Weeding out the fair weather viewers.
starting to rain. This is something, that's for sure. This is the life. Eating gushers, driving my simulated tractor down a dirt road. Chee! The filter, was the filter in the wrong spot? Can I get a yeehaw in chat? Wherever you go after death, my grandma's getting a good laugh at this stream. Aww. Yeehaw! Hi, Ann. Welcome back. It's crazy here. Are we rich yet? Not at all. But we're vibing, though. They can take our money, but they can't take our vibes. They can take our wives, but they can't take our vibes. Our wives can take themselves off to some other person to do a hoochie coochie with, but they can't take our vibes. They can take everything. They can take our license. They can't take our vibes. Oh, I can't fucking harvest while it uh while it rains. Shit. Wait, this is the part. We'll go fishing in a crawfish hole. Church on Sunday morning. Church on Sunday morning. All right, now we're going to have to wait for it to stop raining. We've got 49% of this thing covered up. All right, I think we're going to need to stop the... Um, I think we're going to stop the music here because I think we're going to uh, switch gears here in just a second. Um, so no more music, sorry. Um... <clears throat> We're going to wait for it to stop raining. And uh, in the meantime, I guess we can take care of our uh, our sheep. Make sure they get some water. Actually, I think they're fine. I think they have plenty. Probably just leave it. Oh, Queensley, what are you doing? Um, There, the rain's done. No singing in the rain, that's a whole different genre. Thanks for joining uh, Country Power Hour of, uh, of radio. Does the dog look kind of thin? It's getting fed once a day. That's plenty. That's plenty. I'm devastated. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right, guys, what do you want to talk about? I think we're just going to finish this harvest and then probably call it a day and uh, switch to uh, some spirit fair. But, uh... Abel says, do you suppose when the first cowboy was vibing and yelled yee-haw from pure exhilaration, the other cowboys thought, you know what? That's a good phrase. Yeehaw! Yeah, I wonder where Yeehaw comes from. Church on Sunday morning. Alright, I'm gonna test something real quick. Type a two in chat if you hated Country Music Hour. Type a one in chat if you enjoyed it. I'm gonna see only ones because anybody who hated it is already gone. 
not going to be a single two in chat. Just you watch. Ah, oh, shit. Evo hated it. I'm sorry, Evo. Geo hated it. <laughs> what a pilot says three. Two, but also one. That's a good attitude. That's a good attitude. Hey, Matt, how far into this, uh, into this save file are you? How much money do you have? Am I beating you in this save file? Is it a competition? No? Maybe? Do you think Mark is a horse girl? Oh my god. Um, Mark isn't in touch with his own feelings enough to be a horse girl. Mark's a Mustang boy. It was like when my mom used to work at a country station and it was all we were allowed to listen to. Can you believe that one of the first jobs I ever wanted was to be a, uh, a radio DJ at our local country station? One of the first jobs I ever wanted. Uh, I was like, I like these people on the radio. All they do is listen to music all day. I like to play the same game as the streamer I'm watching because the sounds are confusing. I feel that entirely. Completely. What did your mom do at the uh, country radio station at uh, UL? Oh my god. Does anyone else, when they think of... Uh, does anyone else, when they think of the radio, have, like, an immediate physical reaction to the... Like, I can, in my head, I, I see the word radio, and I immediately sing blank, 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 the four letters that are the station from my hometown area. Like, in the music, I go, mm -hmm. yeah, I can't, I can't do it, because, you know, but, shit, I wasn't looking where I was going. the financials and the customer service we always had to listen in case it went down like so she was listening for like quality control y'all were listening in case it uh in case it broke interesting I haven't listened to an actual radio station in so long. Yeah, when's the last time you listened to an actual radio station? The radio station in my car plays before I plug in something into the aux, but that's about it. Aw, Buster. Radio gives me anxiety as I used to listen to it on the way to boarding school. which has been my placeholder radio for a few years now. Is anyone still using Pandora? My wife loves Pandora. There's still a Pandora out there. Pandora user. My dad uses Pandora. That's harvest done, baby. Harvest done. And all it's gonna make is this tiny ass little uh little trailer full of uh soybeans that aren't gonna be worth anything for another ten months. think the button is to turn this off there's got to be a button to turn it off right
Um, enter. Oh my god, we're going to make it quiet out here again. For the first time ever. It's quiet. On the farm again. We've turned everything off. Wow. Hi, Queensley. How's it going? I like this map, but it's really boring. Oh, it, absolutely. It's all for expanding. All for expanding. 